Hello guys, myself Mike and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to uh, discuss how to set up Unity Catalog. So if you don't know what is Unity Catalog, I have already created a video in the uh, last uh, uh, week. So you can go and check uh, that video. What is Unity Catalog? I have explained what is the uh, uses, features, benefits and uh, limitations also. So you can go and check that video. In this video, we're going to discuss how we can set up the Unity Catalog in Azure, Azure Databricks, right? So what are the steps involved? And I'll do the hands-on also. This will be a hands-on video. So don't uh, skip any section so that um, there will be no error while creating the uh, uh, Unity Catalog and the workspaces and connection for that. Okay, so let's start. So uh, regarding the design right how are we gonna set up this uh, making this connection right so we need to create one uh, databricks workspace right and then we have to create a azure storage account and then in that we'll be creating a container also so that where all the meta store data will be stored right and then we have to create a access connector so that will be connecting both the things both the objects in the workspace and the container uh, we need uh, access connector and then we have to provide the relevant access or uh, permissions to that connector so that will be the uh, i would say the um, architecture the design for that and uh, like uh, what all things we need to cover i just step, uh, write down this number of steps right so we'll be creating a databricks workspace then we'll be creating a storage account then we'll be creating an account in that storage account and then we have to create a, a access connector so that uh, it will connect both the objects and then we have to give uh, access to that connector so that it will have access to that container and the uh, stored objects and uh, um, like tables files in that right and then we have to do configure workspace right we have to create a meta store and assign that uh, meta store to um, uh, relevant workspace right so that all these steps we have to do so without having much uh, like uh, waiting let's start right so i have created um, azure portal right so it's a uh, uh, free credit right i have taken a 30 days free credit provided by azure for 200 dollars they'll provide first 30 days free credit right so i'll utilize that so first thing what we have to do is that we need to create a azure data uh, databricks service right so you can open the databricks service right so there you have to create the databricks workspace as mentioned as first step in the uh, previous slide right so what we're gonna do we're gonna click on this create button Okay, so here I have um, upgraded my subscription from free trial to pay as you go, but you can keep it as uh, free if you want. But I would say better to uh, make it as pay as you go so that we'll be using the premium versions for all those lectures so that it will be there will be no restriction. I'll tell you, but I've just upgraded as pay as you go. And anyways, there will be $200 free credits for first 30 days. So you'll not be get charged unless you'll be in that limit, right? And whatever um, um, the demos will do, it will be way less under the $200 credit. So I created the subscription. The resource group is nothing but, um, you know, um, uh, like logical grouping of all the resources workspace and connectors storage account and everything right we can create everything and store it into one resource group set so that we have to use view or delete let's say all the resources we can do it with just uh, one click right so i'll just create a uh, data bricks maybe i'll give it dbrg data bricks or maybe i'll give it data bricks rg resource group right I'll give it a OK. It's a new resource group. I'll give it in workspace as a workspace name. Uh, region, I'll select the closest region and whichever is the cheapest also. So we'll select that. The pricing tier, as I told you, right, there are two pricing tiers, standard and premium. So premium has uh, uh, one major feature is role-based access control, which user will have access to which table, functions, catalogs. So we can do that and um, um, you can use standard or free trial also but anyways we are having 20 dollars credits so we'll use premium and we'll delete all the resources before uh, 30 days right so we'll use that and uh, our all the demos will be under 20 dollars as i said right so there is no problem using that still it will be under so we will not be getting charged right and uh, yeah so premium tier i've selected now review plus create i'll do so it will do all those validations right if it is everything is correct or not and then validation success succeeded i'll just click on that create button so now so now it will take some time to create the uh, databricks workspace right so meanwhile we'll go to um, another window that is called uh, maybe storage account right we'll create a storage account meanwhile okay i'll open that window in storage account so what we will do we'll create the storage account as mentioned as step number two in the previous slide right so i'll create a storage account so I'll click on create button 
same the your subscription same the resource group i'll mention the same now data bricks my young storage account let's say right i'll see it is okay it's, um, region is central india and here there are two options standard and premium again for storage account but i'll choose the standard because uh, we are using we're not using heavy um, optimal uh, computations or we're not using a lot of data right so it is okay and in redundancy there are four types of redundancy offer like it's for fault tolerance or you if your users are in across zones across different geographical location but we use lrs because anyways uh, it's just a um, demo right and before okay sorry before creating on review plus create we have to go to okay it will take some time for validation you have to go to advanced right and uh, <coughs> we have to click on this um, enable hierarchical namespace so that it will be ads gen 2 right so we'll be using gen 2 right so that for that we have to click right otherwise it won't work unity catalog works on ads gen 2 only so uh, we click on this create button now after having a validation so we'll click on this now again it will also take some time to uh, create and deploy uh, this storage account okay so as databricks uh, uh, workspace and both storage accounts are getting deployed we'll go to our third uh, step that is <coughs> creating a databricks uh, access connector i would say access connector for databricks so i'll create uh, that connection right so um, although there are some uh, you know um, default it it has already been created by that workspace right but i will go and create a new one so again the subscription i'll select the same resource group i'll select the same right and i'll call it a data bricks <coughs> connector maybe unity catalog huh? okay now i'll create a review plus create now um, it will create the connection also right so now this will also take some i think it will be fast right because it is just a connection right so uh, meanwhile all three are happening okay this is created maybe we'll create a dashboard and a new uh, dashboard maybe name youtube uh, learning something like that right so that all those resources will be at one place right so this is created now if i go to dashboard so so yeah this is there databricks workspace has been created uh, the storage account is also created and the access connection is also created now if i go to uh, if i go to that uh, wait, uh, wait, okay the storage account right we will close this right if i go to storage account So it is created. I have to create a container also now as uh, step number, I guess, three or four, right? So I need to create a container. So I'll call it a Databricks container and I'll, uh, okay, Databricks hyphen, it can accept, or not. yeah. <coughs> so Databricks container is there. So now we have created the containers. Now as uh, step number five, we need to assign the uh, permissions also so we'll go to access and control we'll click on add role assignment and then we have to click on create uh, okay uh, we need to look for all those blob storage so what we are trying to do whatever the access connector we have created right we are checking okay both are having the um, it, it should have access to the all those uh, files uh, created in that storage right so this storage will uh, allow it will say allow for read write delete access to azure storage in container so this permission will be given to which thing we have to click on next and manage identity we have to cl click okay which thing will have access to this thing right so we'll select all those access connectors and then what we have connected database connector this one we have created right so we'll select this and select right and now review plus assign now again review plus assign okay now this permission for all this right read write so it will be given for container for, for uh, to um, this access connector right so that that connector will have all those read write uh, permission in doing all this uh, manipulation in that container for that storage account so yeah this is it now we have created step number five also now we <coughs> go back and check the workspace if it has been created or not so we'll go to that workspace and uh, yeah 
and now uh, the workspace has been created we click on this launch workspace so it will do a single sign in right for whichever the databricks login you have already done right so that it will do and now we'll see in, in a minute yeah so this is our workspace this is our the first page right i would say the default page it may be different for you also uh, but yeah this is how it looks like i'll explain all this uh, maybe you must be aware if you know the databricks right but i'll explain it in some other video what all this uh, tabs means for in the future videos now click on here right and go to manage account right so what we are trying to do now we going we are trying to assign a workspace to a meta store right so if you have seen the previous videos the hierarchy is meta store catalog schema and the tables and all so we have to assign a meta store right so what we'll do right we'll create a meta stores click on over here right so uh, just create meta store right and uh, yeah so if you create here maybe give it some name uh, maybe um, or something like a meta store name could be let's say youtube meta store right or ms youtube meta store right so we'll create that the region we have to select right we will select central uh, india maybe or maybe india if i write central india because i've already testing right so i've already created this so maybe i'll create it in some other uh, region uh, maybe uh, europe or maybe I guess Australia must be there. I right? created in Australia, right? And uh, so for you, you should create in Central um, US, right? It should be in same region where you have created the uh, other uh, things, right? So it will be low latency or something because I've already created it, so I can't create. Or what I can do, maybe let me delete the already created meta source, right? So let me delete that. Let's see if I have permission. Yeah, and you know the meta server. Okay, I need to write this. It will delete that. So again, meanwhile, it is deleting that. So I'll just re-explain. Right, you don't need to do this step because it is already been. Um, you you must have no. You know, you must have no. Uh, like meta store already created because i was testing something for this video so i was already created so i was testing that so that's why it is there two meta stores are already created right but uh, for you it may not be there and similarly dev meta store is also there let me delete that also so that we'll be having no meta store as like you right as a fresh thing mm -hmm. so i'll click on this dev meta store also so now i also don't have any meta store right so maybe i'll create a new meta store i will call it maybe uh, development uh, meta store huh? so that we can give it name anything we want right we want in central or maybe india if i search central india and uh, subscription path connector id we have to take it from we have to go to connector id okay and look for resource id a subscription right so that uh, we have to look and paste it over there so it's kind of a key right that we have to look so i'll just select that copy that and paste it in excel connector id now the gen, gen gen 2 path is right we have to look for the container name add storage account name dot dfs dot core dot windows dot net right and slash the path so what we'll do uh, we'll go to uh, storage account okay i'll close the other windows i'll copy the container name the container name at um, the storage name and the dfs core dot windows dot net and the slash uh something was missing sorry the slash okay not that's uh, the slash okay so yeah so this we have given it now we do uh, hit that create button now now it will create a uh, meta store for us now right we have given the region the the location of that path right where it wants to show the data and all and that connector id also 
now we'll wait for a couple of seconds here now we need to assign which workspace um, this meta store that we have created right we have to assign the map the so maybe if you have more workspace right you can click on multiple workspaces that happens let's say if data development team data engineering team has a different workspace and data scientists have different workspace right they have different workspaces can have in a um, typical project so you may have only one meta store right so you create one meta store and assign to both the workspaces and assign click on an assign button so this way it will just enable the unity catalog um, in your workspace right wherever you have uh, defined and uh, now that's it done so you see in the gen, gen 2 path which we have given right the region the meta store admin now workspaces and everything right it is there so that now if you create anything tables catalog schemas it will go to under this workspace under this meta store right, development meta store and uh, i'll show you right if you go over here in the data bricks workspace right and click on sorry catalog right so you'll see uh, the development meta store is there right so meta store is already been created right now if you want to create any uh, um, catalogs or schema under that you can create it um, via ui or command also i'll show you how we do it in uh, future videos right so that's it for this video if you have any questions you can ping down in um, comments or maybe if you have any feedback or you want me to cover some topics or how how you want me to uh, like walk through the data bricks right feel free me to feel free to uh, put in comments right so i'll just take it as a feedback and um, try to give you uh, more better content uh, whatever i can do right so that's it for this video i'll see you in the other video thank you guys bye bye